to understand the function of toxic femininity and thus get inside the mind of the fascist insurrectionists who are defined by their irrational states, mimicking and crafting the entirety of all of their defects according to those specific qualities, you would have to research the three reasons women want to be unhappy, and thus exponentially expand your knowledge on the issues, uh, which can then compound infinitum in order to understand the base quality of the type of mind that would have supported the abuse structures which have actively been advanced inside the United States by the Confederacy, which gave birth to the Nazis in the first place, and thus actively having access to Hitler was unwilling to have him assassinated, but perpetually manipulated him according to the spells, such as paying him off in order to do X, Y, or Z evil thing for the amplification of the propaganda having somebody else do what they wanted to do, um, would then facilitate the capability of their access to him enough for them to have poisoned him with effeminizers in the poisoning of their bodies, similar to how they are distributing similar poisons inside the water supply and food supply in order to generate similar repercussions because they fundamentally know how from active study to control women and thus the effeminizing of all makes them easier to be manipulated and thus the preferred metric and thus a false sense of um, feminism is promoted for the exclusive position of the mass domination of the whole as those that would victimize them exponentially take control, understanding that the betas are not going to challenge them. And thus, if you think that strong men are dangerous, then watch what weak men do when there's no one around to stop them. And thus the action of this is compounded exponentially because strong men are disciplined and discipline organizes everything and having been organized it's not actively scattered about in a messy nonsense which generates the frustration of having not put everything in its proper order and thus it is unmanageable which exponentially increases the lack of use and thus increases the alternative functions such as anger, malice, and violence, and subversion, in order to gain the objective to their interest. And this being a, an entry thought into uh, how someone would have perceived the concept of the Third World War, which would then breed into the concept of fallen angels and how they would have corrupted mankind, uh, giving them forbidden knowledge, um, you know, the function of various corrupting activities of those toxic feminines who would actively be developing this as a function of the status quo activity in life for their control, their ability to have created their perfected structure, their ability to have manipulated it into a clever narrative, um, their mental divergence, their generation of insurgency, um, everything in particular just kind of self-organizes into its own particular hell. And to this end, you know, once you get these types of clarities, you understand that you really need to go on a journey for self-discovery, which would then mature your knowledge through these difficult times and difficult situations in order to have perfected the understanding of where they come from and thus how to deal with them. And thus, if you want to deal uh, 
be able to beat your enemy, you would have to understand the mind of your enemy. And then understanding the mind of your enemy, you would have to go back into the Norse religion amongst other druid promotions, which, you know, are actively connected to each other. And thus the mechanisms of the production of the druid religion and its various satanic spells and other forms which actively had staged cultural religions of a wide variety before the unifying Rome came in and thus the generation of its subtle pollution by the Christianity and thus the subtle pollution of Christianity's devil and the rest of itself organizes and thus the mechanism of their cover stories in order to protect their tales and traditions allows you to actively materialize some kind of concept such as the mechanism of their advancement on the ideal of policing which is uh, started according to many theories from the mechanism of the highway robber and the mechanism of highway robber conducting the perpetual fines for the transportation increasing the cost for all commerce and thus the mechanism exponentially of keeping keeping them down from their inability to engage in those exchanges and thus the mechanism of that diversifying such as their creation of uh, the werewolves or the totem barbarians would then facilitate their active uh, raids starting with small groups to individuals and building up to entire military skirmish campaigns uh, which the Vikings are known for and thus the mechanism of having promoted the concept of the werewolf and others like it would have actively been developed according to the same praise that many on the right currently praise the police forces for and thus the ignoring of the natural defects is actively a part of this promotion and thus the mechanism of their abuses are to be understood taken and granted for but then the mechanism of the benefit that they provide means that because they got their share then shut up and take your silver and then the active system of bribing these barbarians roaming around with silver in order to have them not do the raids or steal their crops or rape their girls or any of the other things would have actively conducted itself as the concept of the werewolf generates the position of the full disillusionment of their humanity and thus the embracing of their animalistic nature and thus its ability to go out to brutalize and to take in and thus the system of the security becomes essential to the stability of each of the villages and thus the mechanism requires a larger society in order to defend against such direct obvious attacks and thus the system begins its conflict amongst threats and security and thus the mechanism of having promoted the security in relation to this engages in the extremely intricate web of cat and mouse of the criminal theft and of its law enforcement of the protection of the local interests against the adversaries which in the beginning would actively be generated by its sustaining by the thefts of another force because of the active subversion established under the normal economy under these highway robber functions increasing the cost of business prevents them from generating normal commercial profits and thus the destruction of their normal order outside of the mechanism of their raids of their neighbors and thus their investment into the increase of their werewolves which they have to promote with absolute fervency as they are the source of stability in that system.
and this primal uh, urge generates the position of their factional beliefs, and thus the mechanism of their engagement of the full diverse objectives of each political industry as they manufacture their specific cultural ideals as is separate to their neighbors and to those that they have made partnerships with. And to this extent, this develops exponentially. And then in the case that the uh, insurrection is then generated, there then becomes a division in those core groups as one abandons the core concept of identity in favor of a new identity and the split off generates the investment into those same terror operations against their former system which they have abandoned such as the confederacy and its separation for the position of states rights which is the right to engage in slave raids, such as the Fugitive Slave Act, against the states' rights of their neighbors who do not have states' rights as the function of the state in order to engage in these offenses, not applying to the other jurisdiction, is counterintuitively a violation of the other state engaged in their Fugitive Slave Act activity, and thus the mechanism of doling down their capacity to engage in the raids for criminal theft as their source of income for their various villages, towns, and so on. And to this extent, this actively being applied would have been broken amongst the war and re-energized and engaged through their secret societies, manipulating into the function engaged in their insurgency of their Pinkerton-type violence in order to protect their financial interests by the thefts, which, as an extortionary scenario, is self-indulgent as a theft, but is then normalized according to the propaganda of having justified their criminal behaviors as a system of qualified unfortunate things that are necessary for other things that just kind of gets lost in the words generating the word salad for the specific objective of their wizards who having promoted themselves as crafters of definitions and its reconstruction of the meaning of words facilitates the normalization of self-contradictory and thus to these extents, you actively have the materialization of their secret society's uh, invisible empire, and thus the development of its espionage terrorism as an extension of these raids. And the justification of their theft is that they have gotten away with it, and because they got away with it, they are justified, and thus it is an obligation to have taken it because they were able to get away with doing it, and thus it becomes mandatory. It is a compulsion of their religion, and thus the action of usurpation inside the government, acknowledge of their undermining of the law as they infiltrate the government itself, such as the promotion by their KKK operations, which had actively lost from the direct force that they had maintained, requiring them to engage in a more diverse strategy of fractionals, political identity functions allowing for divided and conquered tactics to be applied to these systems which turns woke which is just the same thing as the same old white supremacist racism as it was before it's just got new propaganda bells and whistles they put makeup on the pig and there's it's as effective as it is and thus the mechanism of a false thing in order to mock facilitates their higher nobility asserting of their connection to reality on the basis of the thing that they generated from the illusion which then gives them a false sense or illusion advantage against those who are not in on the secret and thus are exploitable by the snake oil salesman of the modern day.
and these infiltrations having actively facilitated themselves as corruption as a status quo function engages in the corruption of the government in its various forms and thus the position might then have actively developed their investment into various government objectives such as national security such as the position in the navy which if memory serves has a uh, specific uh, machine that gives them a sound that is allowed to emit a specific frequency that can actively tamper with people as a non-lethal engagement or a non-lethal weapon which could easily be amplified into a lethal version which allows them for high-grade communications as well as their ability to engage in the tampering with the parties. There was, um, I think it was a war game with one of the top generals or a very effective general who was pretending to be one of the terrorist organizations that the Navy was competing with and was actively beating them because of their weakness in strategy and reliance upon defective things and thus was winning until the function of his inability to control his units anymore indicating that the navy actively had some kind of nerve hacking system which was able to find and arrest the terrorists discovered by that mechanism which would then lead to perpetual harassment and uh, having hacked the nerves having been able to communicate with the person pretending to be God or whatever scheme that they would come up with, collect the intelligence and actively stop them by overpowering them in the arrest to stop them from doing their normal professional activities, which is functionally amazing if you're a white supremacist seeking to advance confederacy against the Americans for the economic degrowth so that you can reconstruct it according to the white supremacist communism facilitating the central planned economy, allowing it to actively enforced by these mechanisms, which is chef's kiss, the perfect mechanism of destroying it in the active engagement of destroying every aspect of society by committing every kind of crime, which is again irrelevant on the basis of all of their self-indulgent propagandas, where they have justified their behavior of their treachery and their treasons as a way of life as they are and have always been separatists and the active systems in order to have defended this requires them to have protected it from the system itself and thus the mechanism of creating a unitary executive theory blocking checks and balances from interfering with their operations which requires them to uh engage in the function of Darius and Daniel in the Bible where the king uh, of Babylon was provided by the jealous uh, officials and politicians the ability to be exclusively worshipped as God and it becoming a law is non-revocable and this being a retaliation against Daniel who being well beyond them uh, doesn't have a single flaw and could only be exploited by something out of left field and thus the mechanism of doing this creates the extraordinary ego boost which generates his compliance to the thing where he advances law to worship himself above himself for himself to himself and thus in the system of having done so they created the way of killing Daniel and thus this being mimicked as a strategy by the insurgent confederates to corrupt and compromise the presidents which are temporary as Putin says the presidents always come into office with high hopes and assertions that they're going to do all these important things and then black and then men come with black suits and tell them how things actually run and 
time after time, every single president he's seen, every single one of them complies with them. Each and every one of them gives up their idealism in favor of the status quo, and thus the action, having materialized who is actually in charge by these systems, facilitates those advancements, and thus the offers of the assertion of power, importance, or one of the other vulnerabilities that they find about the party, exponential increases in that activity from this black market, which facilitates their active access, such as the position from the Iran Contras, where the only person who got punished for the Iran Contras was the person that reported it, and thus the attack against the system of checks and balances itself is the only asserted thing, similar to, I think it was President Jackson, who said that Congress has made a decree, and now let it enforce it ignoring Jackson's immediate obligation as president to faithfully execute the laws, such as the enforcement of the thing that Congress would have just ordered them to do, or one of the legitimate orders from a judge to actively do. These are things that they don't have a legal choice about refusing, which they do refuse because the function of national security is exponentially a joke to them, as they are loyal exclusively to their function as separatists for the invisible empire, and thus that mechanism of their fundamental disloyalty, having exponentially expanded itself, turns the function of each of their compromised systems to expand and protect the criminal enterprises, such as the FBI actively protecting pedophile rings set up by the uh, Confederacy. And thus, the acts have actively, throughout the system, been broken beyond repair, according to these administrations, unless a deep purging by some kind of surgeon to remove the insurrectionists, to purge the separatists, these are the only ways that will actually solve anything, and otherwise you're maintaining a permanent racket. And the more offensive each of the things that they pretend to be fighting is, the more expensive it is, and thus the more value is in having a part of that market, which creates more profits, which makes it reliable income, which makes it harder and harder to get away from. As you can't stop doing it, you can't stop sucking the milk off the teat because there is a steady, reliable amount of things that you have grown accustomed to and can't get all off of, and thus have become addicted to their own supply. And to this extent, this has systemically broken all of the mechanisms, such as the having compromised the Wall Street, such as the creation uh, through the central banks of having monopolized uh, many systems by a system of credit which generates a hyper bubble which then creates a pop of the bubble which then collapses the majority of the economy by rapid degrowth which then allows the re-establishment of those resources which then facilitates the mechanism of the monopoly in order to have taken control and thus these systems of breaking the nation by repeated traumatization is a normal function, and they, having no problems with the criminal enterprise, have ignored all limitations, including the function of actively participating in felonies, which the bank systems do, and Wall Street does, and the Marines do, and the rest of them do. The FBI does it, the CIA does it, everyone does it. And thus the mechanism perpetrates itself indefinitely as an exploitation system. And thus the more you actively try and promote a policy in order to destroy a thing, the more you have certified its permanence. You have validated its rights and obligation to be protected in the society without a remedy, as it is a permanent fixture that should be praised and held to the highest ideals instead of fighting it. And thus the mechanism of having made that permanent means through the Hegelian dialectic 
that the head is shaken by the tail and thus has normalized the thing and thus the assertion of morality in body politics generates an obligation to immorality as that is the way that the system works without the proper checks and balances in place which are targeted by the sedition such as the war on david which is specifically designed to prevent the mechanisms of the law enforcement to make the checks and balances scared to even attempt those functions as the function of the arrests go against the mechanism of those who would dare to suppose that the rule of law is the authority instead of the function of the separatists as an unchallengeable wizard's council and thus the soviet being in perpetuity the controlled mechanism is a maturing event from the soviet union which having actively promoted itself in cooperation with these corrupt um irate members of the political ideal generates the perpetuity of destroying the united states without firing a single bullet and thus the mechanism of those who are part of that plan don't have to support injuries against the united states they simply just have to give it the rope to hang itself and thus the perpetuity of its injury and thus the mechanism of acting in good faith showing the entire world a wide grin as you show perfect absolute flawless engagements and mutual interests in that engagement as the actual injury has been automated and thus any bad faith would actively trigger to the thing of actually solving it and thus the thing can be said as the parties having been fully demoralized can even have the thing pointed out by them and it would be completely ignored to the extent that they would accuse the person who's telling them that they are a potential adversary and that that's the reason why they have to protect the traumatizing injury and thus to this extent they in their delusion become too enamored and intoxicated with their delusional psychopathy to save themselves as they are too stupid to live you can actively support those systems which compel the evil which they have stated as normal as their worship of satan has given them liberty from god it is not enough for them to engage and indulge in their ritual satanic activities but it is necessary for them to engage in its distribution and corruption of others and thus the normalization and infiltration into the system perpetrates the corrupting mechanism which then uh, automates the function of acquiring more and more uh, militia mechanisms for their interest and thus the system of those who question it are actively rebuttal or a check against this such as the second amendment uh, as the position in the constitution of the second amendment is under the constitutional theory that the government becoming destructive of natural rights it is compels it to be the right and the duty of the people to uh, destroy that government and to replace it with a new government and establish a new constitution which is befitting of the people and thus that action is the ultimate break glass in case of emergency and thus that system as a reaction to those uh, participants inside the government being fully corrupted create a position where they in order to stop their checks and balances internally to prevent it from being internally solved uh actively purge anyone who would be able to pass the wisdom or intelligence saving throw or charisma saving throw etc in order to engage in the compulsion for the ritual extortion and thus the grinding down of each of the participants and thus there is a maximum intelligence permittable there is a maximum wisdom permittable there's a natural charisma 
minimum, and thus the action of compelling them to be retarded or, dare I say, charismatically socialist, engages in the function of compulsion in that compliance as they build and distribute um, stumbling blocks to generate the position of the perpetuity of that racket automating the manufacturing of the perfect type of slave or subordinate or for their cult and thus the mass production of the religious radical cultists uh, makes permanent the unmovable nature of their assertion of the state established religion an example of this type of corrupting mechanism have automated itself is the system of the FBI actively engaging in the secrecy against the law, and thus the mechanism of barring people from having access to essential pieces of information for the public according to the laws of the time, such as the uh, assertion that anyone who is targeted by them has to be acknowledged by them as having been targeted by them, and thus the ability to engage in court with them under this acknowledgement as they having been targeted creates side effects which out of context would defraud the courts generating alternative mechanisms which has to be barred and thus the mechanism of their ability to engage in that surveillance requires the function of it not being used for the prosecution function and thus the laundering of it becomes a mechanism of defrauding the courts in order to bypass due process in favor of uh, Brett Kavanaugh's uh, ignoring and destruction of due process by the mechanisms of that fraud which generates the perpetuity of process above due process disqualifying the Constitution from the government which is the Confederate objective as they are not Americans they are separatists loyal to the invisible Empire to this extent these secret mechanisms generate the files or portfolios however they want to keep them or define them and thus the mechanism of their names actively identifies the header or the main piece of information to look up the information and thus they label it however they prefer and thus if the thing is discovered uh, in order to be used against courts, they then subvert the obligation to law by changing the title. And thus the definition exchanges uh, from T to Y to W to X to infinite other things. And thus the title identifier then becomes its own uh, subversion according to the wizardry function of the delusional definition activity and thus the action of requesting the search of the records then can then become subversive and thus the position of their assertion let's call it uh, the mechanism of prohibition of false morality of opposition to alcohol as an active aspect the act of doing so would then generate a position from their blackmail machine which then generates the opposition and negative propaganda by them to the public uh, for criminal defamation under such light offenses of having challenged them in any capacity so far as it would even be to look for the record itself, which is an act of requesting the specific title head. And the specific title head triggers any number of retaliatory actions and distractions and gaslightings and stonewallings and the rest of the fraud in order to assert it uh, allowing them to buy time in order to switch the file which by definition could be anything at all and thus the mechanism of them coming up with a quote-unquote new password uh, for the title head then becomes its issue uh, so the action of the malice and retaliations for looking for that record becomes a normal aspect of the thing in order to subvert law as they are not engaging in any official action they are engaging in undermining functions of unofficial actions as individuals without a legal government for the perpetuity of their fraud against the checks and the balances and thus their contempt for court and thus their contempt for congress
and even their contempt for the president and other superiors as the function of their convincing the president that he is better and deserves to be worshipped as a king, as a god, nay, as the universe itself, then determines to itself their subversion and opposition to it, which then begins the undermining process of dividing the unlimited authority away from itself, and thus infinity becomes material in its limitations, and thus the separation from infinity becomes the infinity, and thus the limitation is the limitation which then uses the separated into the plausible deniability functions of the infinite, which it had to separate from itself, creating other branches of the government not authorized by the Constitution and thus prohibited as a usurpation threatening national security. So let's say so let's say you challenge it effectively and you find the thing, then their action is that you are going to be defined by having defeated their false morality under the protocols of the learned elders of Zion, which have to promote a false morality when asserting the position of their domination according to their specific strategies in alignment with the overthrowing of the aristocracy, of convincing the general public that relies on the aristocracy in order to betray it and thus creates an autoimmune disease where the system becomes repulsive to itself and thus dissolves into the authority by the constructed degrowth, which then facilitates a vacuum, which then is filled by the separatist, creating confusion 